Hey, what's up guys? It's Allstar here and I'm back here on Borderlands a pre-sequel with another build video. So uh, yeah, I'm going to be showing you guys my Elemental Athena build I've been working on since like level 60. Had to make a bunch of changes, so uh, yeah, why don't you drop your class mod, respect, and let's get into it. So yeah, we're going to hit Aspis obviously, and we're going to go into Saronic Storm skill tree and max out these two skills since you need them to get farther down the skill tree. Basically, this whole skill tree is about, you know, stacking Maelstrom, making it easier and faster for you. Maelstrom is basically a skill where it increases elemental damage uh, whenever you do shock and fire damage. So, just keep on doing that shock and fire damage, and we have a bunch of different weapons to help us out with that. Storm Weaving, Elemental Effect Chance Bonus, and Fire Rate Bonus for a short duration whenever we swap weapons. Gathering Tempest helps out Maelstrom by increasing mag size and reload speed. Conduit, increases improves shield regeneration every time we have an electrocute status effect active we regenerate a portion of our shield and we got a bunch of different weapons to help out with that like rosies thunder fires we got storm fronts too so yeah that's going to help out to recharge a black hole for a better novice smite you don't really have to pick this up it's kind of an iffy skill but i like it it does a lot of damage whenever we have a lot of maelstrom it's just basically whenever you're airborne you can smite them which does shock and incendiary damage for the amount of maelstrom you have Unrelenting, we're gonna get that because it's a kill skill and it will increase our weapon swap speed and fire rate for every stack of maelstrom whenever we kill enemy. Zeus's Rage, I'm gonna explain that later because it's gonna synergize with some of the stuff in the Phalanx skill tree. Elemental Barrage for the free ammo chance. Uh, now, I had this problem when I was using shotguns at level 60, so I picked this up, but uh, yeah, I still use this because it's pretty nifty to have. It's kind of an iffy skill also, but I pick it up for the free ammo chance. Superconductor and overload. I'm gonna explain those later. And you not want to get you don't want to get flash freeze because that can really fuck up your maelstrom stacking. And Haiti shackle. I, I feel it's kind of a worthless skill in my opinion, so I don't pick it up. Next, we're gonna go into Phalanx skill tree and we're gonna max out Ephidos, which gives us movement speed and gun damage, which is also good for maelstrom stacking too. Invictus. I'm gonna explain that later. Uh, Vanguard for extra health regen. Hold the line for a longer Aspis duration, Prismatic Ages, so we can store different elemental damage types, we can, which can also help on Maelstrom. We're going to get clear for um, fight for your life damage bonus along with uh, resing your teammates. United Front to convert 25% of damage into shield power. The shield capacity isn't really needed, but I have it to recharge our shield, like I said, for the Black Hole, getting more Novas easier. So... We're going to avoid all these three skills over here because we're not going to really need them. And we're going to hit Wrath of the Goddess. Now, Wrath of the Goddess is going to ricochet up to four enemies. And this is going to synergize well with Prismatic Aegis, Invictus, and Zeus's Rage because of the fact that each target will get a Zeus's Rage, which spawns Fire and Lightning. And that will give you Maelstrom stacks. The Prismatic Aegis can also do any kind of elemental damage, so it will put that on the target. And Invictus would just increase the overall damage of it all, so that's pretty deadly right there. And we don't get these three skills because I don't really play co-op too much, and the max health isn't really needed. Prepare for Glory, it's not as good as, you know, Gunkata because Gunkata gives you the flat bonus. We're going to put the skill points in there also. And uh, our Celestial Gladiator mod is going to boost that up to... Uh, I, I, get, I think like 20% or something uh, as a flat bonus, but prepare for glory is only when you have the Aspis up and a little bit after that. And return fire is kind of a eh, kind of an eh skill. I don't really need it. So yeah, that's the the skill build right there. And I'm going to show you the weapons that we're going to be using. And we're going to be using the Thunderfire, the Heartbreaker, the Right Sizing Fatal, and the Nukem. Uh, Thunderfire is very good for Maelstrom stacking. It's probably one of the best along with the Stormfront Heartbreaker. You can't get this legit, but I have it because it heals you and it does a lot of Maelstrom stacking, so yeah. I also have a whole bunch of other different weapons that can help out with that also. All you need right here in the third slot is a Cryo weapon. I have the Fatal since it's accurate and deadly. And Nukem for second wins. Grown Black Hole, I think I've already explained that already. Stormfront, one of the best Maelstrom stacking grenades in the game. I also have the Koizo off your fan of that also. And the Oz kit's pretty different. Uh, let's see, I got a bunch of different, uh, bunch of different Oscars that boost shotgun damage, electric damage, and laser damage, and a bunch of DPS kind of Oscars, so yeah. And the class mod we're going to be rocking is 
the rainbow hologram and the celestial gladiator but i primarily go with the rainbow hologram because of the fact that it boosts superconductor and overload to nearly 100 percent and basically superconductor is whenever our aspis gets struck we can uh send like a thunderbolt which gives us five stacks anytime it does that and the shock chance we can boost that to nearly 100 percent oh what oh 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 shit overload uh we have that is like a kill skill and every time we uh we kill an enemy we have a a chance to spread that status effect to that enemy and if they're burning and electrocuted then that bonus stacks can get up to like 40 percent or 40 stacks i mean so yeah so that's pretty much basically the build i'm gonna let some gameplay roll out i will have the save file in the description below if you want to convert the saves for like xbox and ps3 i'll also have that in the description and for the gameplay i will have my badass turned off so you can get a more accurate and uh, accurate representation of the build in action so yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video remember to rate comment subscribe and uh i will see you guys later peace out